everyone, welcome back to Stacia Allen's channel. If you're new here, welcome, I'm Jana and today I'll be setting up my March 2020 bullet journal spreads and at the end of this video I'll also be announcing the last Crown With Me giveaways winner and of course there will also be another giveaway so if that sounds good to you then please keep watching. Alright, before we get started, here's a quick flip through of my February's setup sort of filled in. February isn't over yet so I still have some gaps to fill in but honestly February has been such a hard month for me as you can probably tell from my mood tracker colours. But it's not over yet so I guess I still have time to turn it around. I also actually have not been tracking my habits because I haven't been in the best mood to bullet journal. At the start I did feel bad because I share my bullet journal spreads with all of you so I feel the need to make sure I use every spread I set up each month. So I was even tempted to fill everything in with fake things but that's not really what bullet journaling is about. When it becomes a chore that's when you need to rethink your setup so this month I decided not to be too hard on myself with my habits. I feel like I owe it to myself to take it easy and there's nothing wrong with looking after yourself first. Anyway, sorry for that little emotional speech, I just felt like it was important that I let you guys know the truth, that sometimes I don't always fill in my trackers and all my other pages because life gets in the way and that's okay. Okay, so for March I decided to go with this greenhouse slash terrarium slash plant theme. I really wanted to come up with something that's not related to plants so I can be a bit different this coming spring but I really love plants and I just couldn't help myself because I really wanted to do a cute little spring theme. I decided that I should work better on pleasing myself so there we go, that's why I decided to go for this theme. You might have seen this theme before but if you haven't I actually suggested it in my bullet journal theme ideas video so I'll link that in the description box below if you want to check that out. I decided to do the drawings in a nice playful art style so it looks quite stylish but at the same time it's not too hard to achieve. So I drew the plants and then I wrote March in a cute simple writing. I'm normally a calligraphy gal when it comes to titles but I actually really like the look of this simple lettering. On the other side as usual I have my little quote page. Because I wanted to take it easy this month I decided to go for a short and sweet quote that says live simply, bloom wildly, which I think is nice because it's a reminder to lead a simple lifestyle but still thrive and I also chose this because it's short and sweet. Again I used this simple lettering and then I added a cute little rose drawing. Next is a monthly log. March is a tricky month because it starts on a Sunday and ends on a Wednesday so technically that's six different weeks. For this I just decided to go smaller with the boxes and I think this turned out to be really cute. To stick to the theme I added a drawing of this terrarium and then to decorate the rest of the page I also added more plants. Next is my mood tracker. For this I decided to draw a massive succulent in a terrarium because I love how they look like and yeah it's pretty self explanatory. You just shade in one petal with a colour that suits your mood best. So I have this little legend at the bottom to signify what colour goes with what mood. Next is my habit tracker and I'm keeping it simple by using the same layout that I always use and that is the calendar format. I'm really hoping that this month I will actually get to track my habits more because I actually really like tracking my habits in my bullet journal. I find it really useful just to see what habits I should work harder on, um, what I should be doing to make sure that I am doing the habits that I want to be doing and yeah, I don't know if that makes sense but yeah. Then of course I added more plants to decorate. Next is my monthly highlights page. This is where I will write, draw and stick anything that has anything to do with that month. I didn't really get to do much for February but I'm hoping that March will be a bit more eventful. So yeah. <laughs> And 
last but not the least is my weekly pages again i've done a video about weekly page ideas before so you can have a look at that but this layout is also on there i think this is my favorite layout because it's so simple but it makes everything look so nice i'm doing the same on the other side and to decorate i'm just adding more terrariums and some plant doodles with the brush pens And just before the flip through, I'm just going to announce the winner of the last giveaway. And here's our winner. Congratulations on winning. For instructions on how to claim your prize, please check the description box below. And as promised, there's another giveaway, so don't worry if you didn't win. Alright, so in this month's giveaway, we are giving away a pack of spring brush pens and an apple bullet journal to one lucky winner. To enter, all you have to do is subscribe to our channel, give this video a thumbs up and comment down below with the hashtag March giveaway. Please make sure you add this hashtag because I'll be picking the winner with a random comment generator and you will need the hashtag to count your entry. As always, I will announce the winner in the next plan with me. And finally, here's a flip through of my March bullet journal spreads. And that's all for now, I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We make videos every Wednesday and that's all for now, thank you so much for watching and see you next week.